one of the best ways to use dried mushrooms, one of the most flavorful things that I know how to make, mushroom butter, just classic mushroom butter. This is like my basic template for any sort of mushroom flavored butter. We're gonna start out with a bunch of dried mushrooms. Uh, I need to mention, I am making 10 times the <laughs> recipe in the post because that's what I was making right now. And that should give you an idea of how flexible this recipe is. The recipe on my website will make a single pound of butter. So the differences in the equipment and the volume of ingredients I'm using here will be a little bit different. What I did there was hydrate the mushrooms that are dried with hot water. Then I'm going to stir them around. I'm going to strain the water through cheesecloth. Look at all the liquid that was left in the bottom. There's a lot of dirt in that. We don't want that in the mushroom butter. Strain your liquid through cheesecloth. Now we're going to cook a bunch of shallots and just cook those down. For the small recipe, you're going to use like one shallot. And I'm going to add a bunch of sherry here. If you're doing that on a gas stove, uh, you can ignite the sherry. It gives it a nice kind of roasty flavor. We're going to cook that down, reduce it by half. Then we're going to add the mushroom liquid. I'm not going to add the very last bit there. There can still be little pieces of sediment and very fine sand. Be very careful with that. Now we're gonna cook that down, and basically you just want enough liquid here so that you can make a puree of the dried mushrooms. So we'll take our soaked mushrooms there, then we're gonna add some of that liquid. You wanna do this while it's hot. It's gonna puree better, and just add enough liquid until you can make a puree. For the recipe on my website, you can make this just in one batch. But again, I'm making a massive amount to serve like 150 people here. Then we're gonna take that mushroom puree, and I'm just gonna start whipping it into some soft butter. You wanna use unsalted butter here so that you can control the salt, and I'm gonna add salt a number of times during the process along with some fresh chopped thyme and rosemary there. Those are optional. The recipe on my website just calls for thyme. Like I said, this is flexible. Then you'll take that whipped up butter after you seasoned it and it tastes just ridiculously delicious. Roll it up into parchment logs Freeze it, vacuum seal it, give it a little label and a date, and that is it. It's so easy. There's a lot of different ideas for what to do with this on my website, but basically you can toss it with pasta. It's like an instant pasta sauce. Melt it on a steak. Toss it with vegetables. Melt it on soup. You can just warm the butter up until it breaks, season it with like a little lemon juice, and then just spoon it over stuff like a, like a dressing or like loose hollandaise. It is so ridiculously good. If you haven't made mushroom butter yet, get on that. Let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching.